Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'll be telling you why you should be blogging. It is my professional opinion that every single website, besides maybe one or two exceptions, should have a blog of some sort. I know a designer that doesn't spend any money on advertisements, but she writes so many targeted blog posts that she is consistently booked up for four months in advance. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up a blog in Wix and the process for writing targeted blog posts that will help you drive traffic to your site and increase your sales or leads. I'll also be covering the new blog post editor that is part of the new classic editor beta. Now before I get started, I do want to mention that only 16% of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. If you're new around here or you've been watching my videos for a while, I want to challenge you to subscribe to the channel if you find this video useful or interesting at any point. We strive to make the best Wix tutorials possible to help you learn Wix and grow your business online. And for all of you that have already subscribed, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really, really does mean a lot to me. But now let's get back to the video. Blogs help you cast bigger and more targeted nets in search engines. Your website can have a lot of keywords implemented into the design, but you are still limited by the amount of sections that seem natural on your website. You obviously don't want to add unnecessary sections just to throw in a couple more keywords. That will cause your users to get scrolling fatigue and then just leave your website. But with blogs, this not only gives you a chance to write content that contains even more of those keywords and phrases, but you can use the most common questions as titles for your blog post. That means when a user is asking Google a question, and if you wrote a blog post about it, then Google will likely recommend your blog post. The only exception I can really think of where a blog may not be really necessary is like a local restaurant with one to five different locations. But even then, it may be beneficial to occasionally write posts like top five best places to eat in Miami or whatever city that restaurant is in. That way, if locals are wanting to try new places or travelers want to try good places in the area, then your restaurant will be recommended. You also wouldn't have to solely rely on people walking by or driving by to get customers. If you're an online business that offers products or services, then a blog is very necessary to your success. If you're a designer that makes wedding invitations, then you will want to write blog posts targeting your audience. You have to think about what your ideal client or customer would be searching for on Google, especially if they're searching for something related to what you offer. If we continue using my example, maybe that graphic designer could write posts like, should you use physical or electronic wedding invitations, or top five wedding invitation themes in 2021, and the list goes on and on. Now let me show you a professional tip. If you paste your blog title into Google, scroll down to the bottom and look at the recommended searches, these recommended searches are the most searched topics Google gets from the topic you chose. You could then use these as more blog post ideas or use them as headlines in your blog. This will really help drive traffic to your website. Now some of you may be saying that you're not that good at writing or blogs take too long to make. And if you watched my last video on Jarvis, then you know that this tool will help you write 90% of the content for you in a very professional way. Jarvis will help you generate blog topics, introductions, conclusions, and help you improve whatever content you do have to write. And on top of that, Jarvis will help you generate the best SEO settings for that blog post as well. If you would like to learn more about Jarvis and even get 10,000 extra free credits when you sign up, then I will have a link in the description below. But that is not the point of the video today, so let me get back on track. Before I show you how to set up a blog on your Wix website, I want to cover a free tool that you can use. This amazing tool is a website called Answer the Public. Here you can type in your niche and it'll recommend a bunch of questions or topics that are most commonly searched for on Google and Bing. Then what I typically do is use Conversion AI to help me write blog posts about each of these topics. With the amount of topics that Answer the Public generates, it can be super easy to generate tons of blog posts. I would probably recommend that you post one blog post a week if you can. The best strategy for this is to spend one to two hours a month creating four to five blog posts in bulk. Then on Wix, you can easily schedule your post to be published on a certain day, so you don't even have to worry about it once you set it up. This will give your users the impression that you are very active on your website and you care enough about your business to write content about your niche consistently. The only thing that you may want to consider doing is when the post goes live, maybe share it on your social media to drive more traffic to it, especially if you have a following that enjoys reading about your knowledge in the field. But without further ado, let me quickly show you how to add and manage a blog on your Wix website. 
For this tutorial, I'll just be using one of Wix's pre-built templates. The first thing I'll do is come over to the Add button, go down to Blog, and press Add to Site. Then it's going to ask you if you want a blog with a members area where your users can make comments, or if you just want a normal blog. Depending on what type of business you have, it may be beneficial for you to allow your users to comment any questions. That way those questions can become future blog ideas for you. So we will go ahead and select the blog with members area. Now it's going to add both the blog and the members area to our site. For today's video, I will not be covering the members area, so we will just make sure that we're on the blog page. If we select the blog element, we will see a few options. If we click settings, then here we can change the layout and the design for how the post will be displayed on the page. You can choose whatever blog layout works best for you, but I highly suggest that you change the fonts and colors to match the rest of your site. If you have already set up your site fonts and colors in the site themes, then you may just need to adjust some of the sizing, but that's about it. The next option next to settings was manage posts. If we select this, it'll open up all of our posts. Here you can add, remove, and edit your post. On the left hand side, you can even create pages for certain categories. But if we go back to the post page and select add at the top right, then you can paste in your content from Conversion AI or just type it out manually. Of course, you may want to use a few images by going up to the add button and selecting image. You can see from the add panel that we can add several different things to our blog post, all of which is the same as the old blog editor, but it's just in a new spot. But once you like the way it looks, then you can look over here on the left. You can change the settings, the SEO, and add the post to a category. Once you are all finished with the post, in the top right you can either publish it immediately, or you can hover over the arrow and you can save it as a draft or schedule the post to go live at a future date. But that basically wraps it up for the video today guys. I hope I was able to teach you the importance of using blogs on your website. And if you are interested in getting 10,000 extra credits when you sign up for Jarvis, and there will be a link in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.